Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where we are currently plotting to fight the French for New Granada and that is definitely an interesting thing to be doing but I do want to get these motor industries finished eventually. We also have some exploiting of the Amazon that we can do. So let's exploit the Amazonian state. Excellent. The Heralds of Progress. We're also going to develop an Amazonian state and that sounds great. One of nine fulfill this requirement. Okay. Well, it definitely needs some work. We're not really focused on it, so that will be fine for now. Now, I want to check in on our battalions here. So, we're at about 40k at this moment. Noted. So, if we wanted to take over the top spot from Britain, hang on. In numbers of battalions, we're at the top spot. Okay, that is because Britain has conscripts and vassal states. Understood. They're currently at 17,488. That is wildly different from where they were last episode. Um, I don't know what happened there. Are they at war? I mean, they're Britain. They're probably at war. No. This is the same number of battalions they had, I think. I could double check that, but I think this is the same number of battalions they had. I'm not sure why their power projection dropped. But okay. I guess that means that we are indeed the number one power in the world militarily. At least for now, until Britain gets their act together. <laughs> so that probably means that we want to declare this war on New Granada right now. How strong was France? 10k? Yes. I want to declare this right now. Transfer subject. So we're expecting East India Company to come in here. Are we expecting anyone else? Maybe because we are going to get a bunch of infamy out of this. How strong is East India Company? 14? So they'd be a combined 24? I mean, we can take that, in theory. So that's noted. All of these are upgraded to squad infantry, correct? Correct. Okay. I say we do it. We're going to transfer subject. Are we going to force a diplomatic play? I mean, no, there's not really a point. Well, it would immediately trigger a diplomatic play. So there's not really a point in not doing it, I guess. So an immediate diplomatic play here. Excellent. And the question is, who's going to join them? I guarantee you somebody's going to join them. Well, let's mobilize these guys and send them out to the front. And I'm going to mobilize, for now, three of our armies. We're going to do something like that. We're going to leave the rest in reserve for now. We're probably going to need to mobilize them. But for now, that's going to be the goal. Okay. So we're heading on over there. And the question is, who is going to join this diplomatic play? No one can just yet. Someone would join. Britain would join this. Hang on a moment. Britain would join this. If Britain joins this, then I think that the British East India Company can't join this. That seems very interesting. We should probably raise our taxes for the time being. This is going to get very expensive. So we're going to do that for now. We're still running a deficit, and that's to be expected. Okay, let's let this go through the opening moves. Yeah, France is fearful. I don't blame them. So Britain would be able to be swayed. That's very interesting. They would actually prefer France, kind of. They have a cautious attitude. Now, the question is, how do we do this? I need to remember how to do this. How to actually sway them. I've never been very good at utilizing this particular screen. And currently... Oh, it's just a button. Okay. We can sway with transfer states. And... This is transferring one of our states to them? No, screw that. That's not happening. Okay, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Mexico sided with France. Okay. The British East India Company sided with France. Okay. That's understood. Who else? I, I imagine there's going to be more. 
let's get some additional forces mobilized here. I'm going to mobilize these guys. One, two, and three. Okay, up we go. I'm also going to crank our taxes up to max. There we go. We've still got another five armies in reserve here. I do think we should probably send our fleet out to, like, this sea node to try to cut off any supply flow over this way. Now, they could come over here, theoretically. Maybe we should be positioned at the Western Caribbean, actually. So we would position, like, there. Okay, so we've got additional armies that we can raise up. What I want to do right now is I want to check in on our market prices on some of these goods. Okay. So, radios are expensive. We should definitely consider expanding our electrics industries. So, we're going to go into... Um, Minas Gerais is probably fine. Buenos Aires? Sure. Gonna build 10 there. Okay. What else is expensive in terms of military goods? Ammunition a little bit. Engines? Okay. We're working on engines right now. Ammunition I'm not too concerned about. That seems relatively fine. I guess we can build a couple of munitions plants in, like, Bajo Paraguay. Something like that. Okay, let's get that going. So we've got these electrics industries, and, yeah, there's a lot of things being set up here. So we're currently at 65, and we've got an additional army moving in. Let's mobilize these guys and send them over. We're clearly going to need more people here. 29 at this point. Okay. An additional army moves in. These guys are still on their way in. Okay. We've still got five more armies over here. Now, I want to take a look at what we've got here. So they're uncertain currently. That's fair enough. That's kind of how I'm feeling right now. So we don't really want anyone else to join. I don't think that they will. I think this is pretty much what we're going to have to deal with. Bolivia is sending some forces up. I'm going to mobilize this army and send them over. We're going to keep four in reserve for the moment. Okay. So that puts us at a reasonable amount here. The real question right now is, if we succeed in winning this war, how long will it be before we can kick Britain off of this continent? Infamy is going to be a long time to decay. Certainly past the canonical end of the game. So we'll see if we want to go beyond the canonical end of the game for right now. But for the moment, I think we're in a pretty decent position here. When is this war going to break out? Okay, we're in the countdown to war at this point. So no one else is going to join. The only thing that they want out of us is war reps, actually. So that's very intriguing. Okay, War with France has indeed broken out, but we just finished automatic machine guns. Does that give us a mobilization? Oh, right. We have some of these new ones that we d haven't fully mobilized up. Okay, uh, which of these are new ones that are not raised? The fourth is a new one that's not, or not a new one that's not raised. Uh, we can see what ones are mobilized or not here. Gotcha. So for now, I don't want to... Well, we could get one of these mobilizing. So we can do, like, one at a time, and we can just turn all of this on. Yes, I'm aware that our organization of this specific army is going to be very low. So we're on truck transport right now, and that seems fine. We could go to maybe, like, rail transport for these eventually. I only want to do one of these. We'll let that organization regenerate. Let's go down to these unmobilized areas. So, like, these guys here. And we can definitely turn on all of this. And we'll do rail transport here. Okay. This one's not mobilized. This one is. So is this one. Okay, that is unfortunate. I should have checked this beforehand. But here we are. So we're only going to do one of these at a time. And we'll see how these battles end up going. Okay, this is looking excellent. We are winning this battle handily. Low organization at the front. Yes, I'm, I'm aware of that. We are going to let that organization increase. Okay, this is another attack that we have started that is succeeding. Excellent. 
Convoys are being sunk. This isn't shocking. Plus 20% defense or stalwart defender. Um, I guess we'll take the 20% defense for two years. France has declared a rivalry. Shocking. I can't believe that France would be upset at us. What did we do? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. So this is looking good at this point. The Ottomans are now up to genial. Our infamy is dropping as we work on this, which is great. We do see additional forces making their way up to the front here. A lot of them, in fact. I'm going to mobilize two additional armies. And we're going to send them up to the front. Let's check in on our mobilization options. We're at 27 here. Okay, that needs to continue to improve. So we've got two more forces heading up to the front. We are winning these battles as of right now. So that looks good. They are shifting more forces to the front, but so are we. We've got two more armies that we can scale this up by, but look at that deficit. <laughs> okay, what do we got going on here? Well, it's just very expensive. And we knew that this would be the case. We knew that this army would be incredibly expensive to raise and that France would be difficult to fight. Well, it's not necessarily France that's difficult to fight here. It's the fact that they had allies. But for now, this is looking reasonably good. So we're winning this encounter. We're winning this one as well. That looks great. We, of course, can't do this forever. Zeppelins have been unlocked. Okay, cool. Not like that's all that relevant. So our organization here is improving somewhat. How are things going on this battle? Looks great. On this battle, winning. Beautiful. I mean, we did kind of a timing attack with squad infantry. I don't think any of these guys have squad infantry at this moment, which is very good for us. We are definitely occupying huge swaths of New Granada. So that looks great. North German people are migrating to our country. I like it. And we did finish up all those constructions as well. I am going to pause our government construction for the time being. Reason being, I don't want to get quite as much of a deficit as we've got going on here right now. Okay, that looks much better. So, we are certainly getting all of this finished. Yeah, this is going incredibly well at this point. The main issue is financial, and that's not surprising. Yeah, this die route is inactive at this moment. That's also in the category of not very surprising. We could get more electrics industries. Minus 466 for right now. Each of these are producing 60 per level telephones, but... In Minas Gerais, they are producing radios. However, it's not actually a problem. Okay, we don't need more production then. Sounds good. We're just going to continue to push in here. We are currently the most powerful in the world at 46k. Great Britain has not recovered. Okay, so we don't really need to expand our military then. Yeah, we're able to do this. This seems pretty good at this point. We're very negative on our convoys, and that's not shocking. We're having a lot of convoys be sunk. Our navy is not phenomenal, but you know, that's normal. <laughs> that is absolutely normal. So at this point, war support cannot be below zero for us. Their war support can't go below zero either because neither their capital nor the following war goals are being occupied. Transfer New Granada. We have some forces moving around here. This is why we're currently negative. But I'm wondering about these battles. Winning. 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 Losing. No, we're winning this. We are defending this one. We're winning. And same thing here. So we're winning all of the battles on this front. That sounds phenomenal. I'm a little concerned about Nicaraguan Panama here. I don't know if we're going to be able to occupy all of Panama. So that's going to be very interesting. We'll see how that ends up going. We might actually want to tell one of these armies to plan a naval invasion of Panama. Yeah. 
get going on that. That'll be okay. So we're going to plan a naval invasion up over here, and we'll see. We're probably going to get kicked out of here by this armada, but we'll give it a go. I'm a little concerned about this situation here. So Nicaragua and Panama, I'm wondering, this is in Nicaragua. I don't suppose we can get access in some way. I don't think so. So I'm assuming we're having a battle here fairly soon. But for now, this will definitely do. Navally, we're not really in a great position up over this way, but hopefully... Yeah, we aren't... We aren't holding New Granada yet. I'm hoping that we just need to capture their capital state, which is this one. If we capture their capital state, that might be enough. So we're plus 107k right now. We could probably consider dropping our taxes pretty soon, but not quite yet. This war is going very well, and our construction is very thoroughly paused, which isn't phenomenal. Are we not building in our private queue either? Interesting. Our private queue actually finished up. Noted. Uh, automobiles will have right of way, I'm sure. Okay, so we're currently working towards some landing progress here. But there is a naval battle occurring. Okay, noted. So that is fine for now. Do we control their capital state? Yes, we do. And that is apparently enough. So that is really good to know. We're working on this naval invasion. I don't know that it's actually going to be all that successful. We'll see. If it is, great. If it isn't, well, you know, it's fine. We can do populating the Americas, which we will do. A Portuguese mass immigration. We can also explore, exploit an Amazonian state, which we may as well do as well. Cool. So we're continuing to press forward over here. They've got 700 divisions here trying to stop us, and they can't. They just can't. They're being kicked out. So France is almost kicked out of South America. That is amazing. We're very, very happy about that. And the question is, how is this landing progress going? Well, we're still fighting this naval battle. We are winning the naval battle. But the question is, for how much longer? We'll see. So that is all understood. This war is going very well. We're apparently losing this attack. Noted. Losing an attack isn't necessarily the end of the world, though. We can start up some new ones and it should be fine. Yeah, we immediately start up this one. Easy victory. Fantastic. We're fighting like half of their army and easily winning. They're definitely pulling some troops out of here. It's over for them. There's nothing they can really do. We're winning this naval battle. New Granada is in default. Beautiful. So that was a failed defense, but this is still contested. I want to check in on the status of this naval battle. Okay, that will easily win as well. So far, so good. We'll continue to push through here. So this is going to be a victory. France is currently at 24. And keep in mind, we can't go below zero. They can. They would have to successfully naval invade somewhere out over here, which they're not currently working on doing. If a party can't afford a campaign, should it be campaigning? So they've actually switched over to being the Communist Party. Okay. Landing craft has been unlocked. That is useful for us. I like it. And we're definitely pushing them back into Panama. This is going very poorly for France. Incredibly poorly for France. So we are down to 40 infamy. That's looking good. I want to check in on the status of Bolivia. Okay. So their liberty desire is zero. Excellent. That will, of course, change New Granada's liberty desire once we get them brought over. So that's understood. But this is looking incredibly, incredibly good at this point. We are fairly handily kicking France, Mexico, and the British East India Company out of here. Keep in mind, the British East India Company, they're, they're the rank 12 minor power. But they're the number five military power and the number one economy 
in the world. And we're pretty easily beating them at this moment. So that sounds great. There's a naval invasion in Panama. I mean, yes, we, we are doing that. We have successfully naval invaded out over here. It looks like at this point, we fully occupy New Granada, right? Yes, we fully occupy New Granada at this point. They do have some armies still running around here. They're traveling to the New York Baja California front. I'm sorry, what? New York is up here. Baja California is over here. There's a front? Are they at war with the US? Oh, the US coattailed. Okay, interesting. So France is probably really interested in getting out of this. Minus 21? Okay. That is making good progress. I'm not ready to start early demobilization because we're going to be done with this very, very soon. France is going to want to get out of this. So we're going to propose this peace deal as soon as they're ready. They have minus 47 capitulation desire. The British East India Company just peaced out. They capitulated. They had no reason to stay in. And that's fine. We're going to propose this peace deal without the British East India Company. France is like, fine. Just take New Granada. And we're like, don't mind if we do. Excellent. So that is phenomenal. We're going to immediately begin improving relations with New Granada. And we're also going to want to start... Well, we're going to want to eventually reduce their autonomy, but that's going to be a very long-term sort of thing. We're going to start supporting their regime immediately. Excellent. So they're going up by 0.52 due to hostile relations. This isn't surprising. So they're going to not be very happy about this. All of our forces are going home as of right now, so we should see our finances get substantially better. That's a little bit better. We're going to resume our constructions at this time. And we currently have a zero legitimacy government. Interesting. Well, we're about to have an election in one week. So let's let that roll through and let's see what our legitimacy ends up being at. I don't know why we're at zero, zero legitimacy right now, but okay. Here in Bolivia, I would like to annex this. 75% chance of acceptance on this diplomatic play. Hmm. It's also going to give us 30 infamy, and it would raise the Liberty Desire of New Granada by 20, so I think we shouldn't do it quite yet. And now we've got this government, which is unacceptable 36. Our best is 44. Now, what is this so low from? I mean, very high income taxes. Yeah, we're definitely going to drop that. Okay, let's drop our income taxes down to medium taxes. That will help matters a lot. That puts us at 56. Our best would be 64. Okay, let's just go up to 64 contested government for now. That'll do. We're currently being dropped by 20 due to support regimes. That's understood. We're going to need to let our infamy drop, but we are about to have the game end. So we need to decide, do we want to continue beyond the game end and kick Great Britain and the Netherlands out of South America? Or do we want to end it here? Because the game is about to, about to end in about a year. Well, I'm going to think about that. It is about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And either way, we're going to probably proceed beyond the end of the game until the end of next episode. But I am tempted to kick Great Britain out of South America. We would only have to go beyond the end of the game a little ways. Of course, our infamy will be the core issue there. But we can think about it. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible including ALS Gamer, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge STL, Kintogen, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.